Literally, I'm telling you, motherfucker, wake up. I'm showing you reversals. I'm showing you truths. You have nothing to back up your claims other than that Jesus is going to save you. Is that the only thing you got? To, what Them motherfuckers don't even research. They know nothing of truth. They know nothing. They can't even come in and tell us what do they think is going to happen when they die. What do you, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Anybody? They don't know. Nobody knows shit. They don't even care to know. They only care about the now. They don't care to know. They care about the now. And it's like, well, right now is the time to start spilling your blood up or start researching. Start listening to videos because we're pointing some pretty crucial shit out. It's monumental. It will literally save your life. <laughs> because you're you're going to die unless and if you cannot spill your blood over your intent then you're just going to die and you have to accept that fact yeah yeah I mean they can bitch and argue all they want with us like say we're crazy say this and that it's like dude we attached ourselves to heaven on earth and living forever what are you talking about like you can't send that into our realm we're, blood brother we're Spirit, the death is our blood brothers. You know, we're not calling that. We're not casting that into our reality. We're not casting that into our reality. We're talking the book of life. We're speaking living words. We're not casting the book of death into our realm. So if anybody thinks that they can come and try to cast that our way, they're just going to cause more problems on themselves. Don't do that. Exactly. I mean, that's just their warning right now. If you're watching this and if you think that, you know, that you're going to change something, you're not because we're informing you. This is the most important message that you could possibly be watching. If you're watching this, this video right now mm -hmm. and you have not spilled your blood over your intent, you're only hurting yourself. That's right. You know, yep. do this as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And then after you do it, you're going to kick yourself for not doing it sooner. I that's guarantee right. it. That's right. Yeah. I mean, shit, I'm kicking myself every day for fucking not life. just, you, need a witness. you know, the being more serious. Life. We're just yeah. Right. Mm hmm. You know, she's speaking through us. We're connected to this, this frequency. We put our spiritual currency up. And it's beginning to connect, and it's yeah. just blooming and blossoming through us. The the alchemy, the gnosis, and the more you speak to about the Holy Grail, it's like you said, the more it comes back. It's like a feedback loop, and it's conscious. So yeah. if you ignore it, you're just you're gonna stay blind. Mm -hmm. Literally, exactly. we're already in the land of the dead. Yeah, it's it's really pretty obvious once you wake up to the point we're at. We just see it so clearly. Even the animals know fucking because we're still here. People are after stupid. After all these years, after all the attacks, being shut down, censored, having our message ignored, like we're still here, pointing to the Holy Grail, showing people what we can see, explaining the virus in the yeah, matrix, and it's over exactly, and over again. exactly. The only time I did time as a virus, <laughs> right? Like thousands of times. And how many? And time is still a virus. <laughs> yeah. It's still a virus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, yeah, there are so many viruses. Brutal. This is yeah. hell, for they sure. Added, they've added the mask into, mm -hmm. the, into, the, into the mix. Yep. And so now, now you're, you're dealing with, you're dealing with something that's literally that, if, if you're, if, if you think that mask is, is at some point going to come off, you're under an illusion. I mm -hmm. mean, it's only getting stronger, uh, or, you know, you'll be asked to t take a vaccine and take something, inject something into your arm that does not belong there and was not, it's not a natural substance and by no means is, is, is a needle going into your arm, anything that should ever be done to I'm anybody. Any I don't, I don't get flu shots or vaccines. They got me oh. when I was a kid against my will. But what do you do if it's mandatory? I woke up, I don't think. I don't, yeah, I don't get back mandatory. I'll mandatory fuck you up if you come at me <laughs> with a <with the> needle. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. you dead you if you try to put an injection in my arm. Like, mandatory. It's mandatory that you give your creator proof of life. Blood over his head is mandatory. That, talk about mandatory things. <laughs> Blood over intent is mandatory or you're going to die. Talk about safety of health. If you don't show your creator Creator, proof of life, you're gonna die. No vaccine will save you from the wrath of your creator. 
angel of death is for real and is got a, a long list of names in his book. The book of death is not closed. We're trying to close out the book of death. Mm -hmm. That is the goal. Mm -hmm. Eventually there will mm -hmm. be no more death, but at this point in time right now, it looks like a lot of people are not going to make it by their own word, by mm -hmm. their own, like in the beginning, was the word and the sounds and the intentions they're they're weaving death into their reality they're saving for retirement so they can die these are their life's goals and their best definition of success is to die comfortably and think about that word retirement you know meant comes from the latin root mind and you're retiring if you're retiring something you're 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 stalling it out. You're retiring your mind. Really? Is that? I mean, you're you're going to become more retarded. Like if you're not already retarded, this is just the epitome of it. You know? And there is no. You should never contemplate retirement. Life is eternal. Look out! Look at the animals that are actually in the wild. I'm not talking about zoos. I'm not talking about animals in captivity, but look at the animals in the wild. Mm -hmm. And they will tell you that life is eternal. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen an elderly deer or an elderly animal? I mean, can you, you know, we see that in human beings. We see um, people aging mm -hmm. and getting older. But out in the wild, I have yet to see the reality that there is this such thing as aging in these animals. I see them as as, as running around. They're they're born. They're young, and they live with their you know they live with their mother and their father, and they grow up, and then they're they're eternal. You know they're running around, and they're they're telling you they're telling you in your face. These animals are communicating with you, mm -hmm. showing you. That you're not supposed to be aging. You're not supposed to be aging. Right. You know, when you put an animal in captivity, they will die. Yeah. That is the same. That's the same reality for <sighs> us. When you put us into slavery and you put us into bondage, we will die. Mm -hmm. But when we come out of it, we spill our blood over our intent, and we do these things, we're we're getting back our eternal life. But the animals are are. And wild animals, those mm -hmm. that are not held under. under yeah, any yeah, that's why we don't see them. They won't. They won't come around us. Yeah, they won't. They won't show themselves. Yeah. They can't. We're not ready yet. They're not ready. You know. Yeah, we're gonna get to the Holy Grail and drink these living waters. It's our birthright mm -hmm. to drink from the fountain of youth. Yeah. X-Men clay figures. <laughs> you know, the exclamation point. It's telling you. You know, people should be shaking in their boots. It's so real. It's scary. It's overwhelming for us. Not that I'm scared, but it has this element of there's just, you know, when I first started waking up to the fact that the Holy Grail is... is you know, understanding the black hole sun and the white hole sun, it's just, it was overwhelming, and it was... Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah, and all this know, shit. All this shit can be overwhelming. Pretty advanced in the research right. of understanding this reality. I've been studying the virus in the Matrix mm -hmm. way before the flat Earth information ever came out. They mm -hmm. worked really hard to hide this knowledge, putting their gatekeepers in place so they could control the revolution and still steer the outcome, to, to still continue to hide things, to keep people people in the matrix they don't want them breaking free from the illusion because they lose their batteries the soul that's you know they're showing us in the matrix movie how everybody's just a battery in the system <laughs> literally they're farming everybody's soul yeah people should be exactly. furious they should, should be and really angry angry is a good like sign that you've got some emotions in you you should be mad that they tried to steal your eternal life and you, you better do something about it mm -hmm. which is come alive you need to you know al alchemy you got to take a bad situation and somehow you know turn it to gold exactly. and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to take the high road mm -hmm. we're just trying to Absolutely. point to the holy grail we're trying to get eternal life even for the lord 
lawyers and the bankers and the doctors and the liars and the frauds. Even, even them. We're still trying to give this information to them, even though they're the ones gatekeeping our knowledge. Yeah. We've, like, because surpassed them in intelligence because we're, well, we've connected to this consciousness, and it speaks to us. Like, we have the ears to hear, like, our pineal glands and the crown chakras, like, knowledge is coming in out of thin air. 